participation against opposition groups, uh, against journalists and who uh, did to intimidate and, and, and force people to capitulation. And his answer was that, you know, we were kind enough to give these people a day in court. The Americans were using mirrors to eliminate people, uh, the audience. Right? So the point, the moral of this story is that the courtroom is seen as a powerful instrument to justify a politics of elimination, a politics of repression, because when you do these things to a court, it's not seen or it's not perceived as a repressive politics. Right? It's a legalistic politics. So one reason why the Ethiopian government comes to the legal proceeding um, and uh, and the court is, is precisely to conceal and hide the repressive character of its politics. And of course, has been serving that purpose uh, not just now since 2005 election or since the anti-terrorism administration was uh, was passed, but from day one really. If we look at the ways in which it was the Red Terror Trial, which is um, uh, a trial that was supported by anyone, uh, a trial meant to be against some of the worst perpetrators of violence in that country. Even that trial was used in such a strategic way in order to construct and produce a difficulty for the regime rather than you know, using it as an occasion in which the Ethiopian state can affirm uh, its norms, can you know, call those uh, who have perpetrated those atrocities into account and send a message uh, that this will never happen uh, again. So, um, I think um, the, the current government has learned um, a politically important lesson from history of uh, authoritarian governments who have deployed uh, their uh, courts from state as the ethical